The Iowa State Cyclones are hoping for a lot of magic on the road as the Big 12 tournament gets underway tonight in Kansas City. The clones have had a dismal season. They finished the Big 12 winless. So a lot of it's riding on the conference tourney, especially for head coach Steve Prohm. Sports director Keith Murphy joins us now. Keith, of course, the big question everybody wants to know is Prohm's job on the line. I don't think it's on the line because I think the decision, whatever it is, has already been made. So I don't think as you go into this game tonight, if your athletics director, Jamie Pollard, you're deciding whether to continue with Steve Prohm or whether to make a change. I think Jamie Pollard knows that. I just don't think anyone else does. That said, obviously, there's got to be a lot of pressure then heading into the tournament for not just the coach, the players, but then the program overall. Well, the Cyclones would just like to know what it's like to win. I mean, just to feel <laughs> yeah. a win again. It's been more than two months since Iowa State has won a game of any kind, and they come into the Big 12 tournament with a 17-game overall losing streak, 0-18 in the Big 12. Uh, it's been more than two years since Iowa State has won a, uh, a Big 12 road game, and they've had back-to-back 20-loss -back seasons for the first time in the 114-year history of Iowa State, and one more to pile on, and I'm not trying to because Steve Prohm is a, a respected and liked man, but Iowa State in the past four years has two last place finishes and one next to last place finish. Dismal is the right word. Yeah, I mean that just even going in that headspace, knowing that there's been so many losses. I mean, what would be the key to victories for the for the team tonight? Uh, well, Oklahoma doesn't show up. No, that's Check. not going to happen. Uh, Iowa State has actually been competitive in some of these games. Uh, they've had a chance down the end, but some of the criticism of Prohm's coaching has been the Cyclones just haven't been able to finish games. Like they're, they have the lead late or they're competitive until the final couple of minutes, and they just haven't been able to close. They haven't been able to finish, uh, and, and that's, that's the problem. They, they have a chance tonight. They're like 11-point underdogs. They aren't so outclassed that they're just embarrassed out there. They just have not been able to get over the hump sure. and win a game. And to their credit, the players have not quit on the season. They haven't quit on their coach. They've still been trying. And you feel for those young men in the locker room, it's hard to go more than two months without winning. Sure, but we in know. In a pandemic. Yeah, add that on top yeah. of everything. But we know, right, tournament time, anything can happen. Anything can happen, and Iowa State is technically the defending Big 12 Conference Tournament champions because they didn't finish the tournament last year. And Iowa State has had much success in Kansas City. They've won this tournament four of the past six years. And if they win this tournament, they're in the NCAA tournament. That would be one of the biggest Huge. upsets in college basketball history if they were to go on and win four games in four days. But it's possible. It's so technically possible. Anything's possible. Not Keith, likely. We know yes. that, but We've it's seen still it. possible. We, we know this year anything's yeah. possible. Uh, back to Coach Prome, yeah. right? If we're talking about maybe uh, time to part ways, either on either side, what, who, who would be in the running to replace him? Oh, well, there's still, there are still fans out there pining for Fred Hoiberg, but, but he's not coming back. Uh, he's, he's at Nebraska. That's not going to happen. His former top assistant, TJ Otzelberger, is a name you hear. Uh, Darren DeVries has, has won Coach of the Year twice at Drake in the past three years, but there's no reason to think that he's interested in leaving Drake, but he's going to be on a lot of lists just to see will he take the phone call. But to be clear, Steve Prohm is still the head coach uh, at Iowa State, but there's a lot of reasons to believe a change is coming. Okay. Thanks for joining us at the Ford to talk a little Big 12 tournament. I couldn't believe I got the invitation. I know. Well, Thank well, you, Janae. We'll, we'll invite you back. All Thanks, right. Thank Keith. you.